Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome DNC Vice Chair for Civic Engagement and Voter Participation, Donna Brazil. chicken. I've seen some things in my time. And as a child, I lived through and survived the segrega segregated South. Who that? I sat at the back of the bus at a time when America wasn't yet as great as it could be. As a grown woman, I saw the first black president reached down ahead and touched the face of a child like I once was, lifting his eyes toward a better future. But I have never, ever in all of my years seen a leader so committed to delivering that better future to America's children as Hillary Clinton. Let me tell you, Arkansas, when I first met Hillary Clinton. When Hillary graduated from law school, she could have gone to work for a corporation or a big law firm. Instead, she went to work for the Children's Defense Fund. She didn't sit in the office. She traded pumps for tennis shoes. Hillary went undercover going door to door, school to school, investigating discrimination and the treatment of children with disabilities. During that same time, Donald Trump was facing a federal discrimination lawsuit for refusing to rent to minority families. Hillary Clinton, Hillary Clinton risked her own safety to seek out the truth and comfort the afflicted and to make a home for justice where there was none. It was at the Children's Defense Fund that I met Hillary Clinton. I was 22, feisty, and ready to fight. I remember thinking immediately, here's a woman who doesn't mess around. And you know, us Southern girls, we don't mess around. Still in her spine, Hillary didn't want to talk about anything other than how to make children's lives better. That's the Hillary I know. That's who she is. When nobody was watching, she quietly fought and fought hard for the bossless among us over her career that has never changed. She has never changed from expanding early childhood education as the first lady of Arkansas to helping win health care for eight million children as first lady of the United States, for standing up for women here at home and girls and around the world as Secretary of State. Hillary has never forgotten what she learned in that very first job. At her core, rooting rooting her to this earth is the belief that every child, black or white, native-born, immigrant, or undocumented, they deserve to have the opportunity to live up to that God-given potential. My friends, as a child, when I sat in the back of the bus, I was told time and time again that God's potential did not exist in people like me. I spent my life fighting to change that. And from the first day I met Hillary Clinton, I've known that she is someone who cares just as much and will fight just as hard for children everywhere. Poor kids, you got a champion. Kids who are living poverty, you got a champion. Kids who need hope, you got a champion. As long as she's in charge, we're never going back. And that's why I'm with her. your incoming chair of the Democratic National Committee.
promise you, my friends, I commit to all Americans that we will have a party that you can be proud of. We will elect Democrats up and down the ballot, and we will celebrate together the inauguration of President Hillary Clinton in January 2017. God bless you, and God bless America.